all cricket bat blades are made from the timber of one kind of willow tree, the cricket bat willow or blue willow. The wood used for bat blades must be tough, close straight grained and light in weight. Only timber from the blue willow possesses all these qualities. The tree is felled with great care so that the trunk is not split when the tree falls. Only the wood of the straight trunk of the tree is used in the manufacture of cricket bats. The tree trunk is cut into logs of suitable length. To follow the natural grain of the wood, the logs are split with hardwood wedges. The half logs are split in the same manner into quarter logs. From the quarter log, the heartwood at the center of the tree is removed as waste. The quarter logs are split into sections called clefts and the bark is removed. Each blue willow tree is thus converted into a stack of clefts at the cricket bat factory. Each cleft forms the raw material for one bat blade. The cleft is trimmed to a regular shape. The trimmed clefts are left in the air to dry slowly, a process called the seasoning of the wood. After a period of four to six months, the seasoned cleft is ready for the craftsman. The cleft is first roughly sawn into the shape of a cricket bat blade.
Under the craftsman's hands, this rough outline is smoothed and begins to resemble the shape we all know so well. A draw knife is used in this shaping process. The shoulders of the bat blade are marked. The blade is compressed, a process which toughens the wood in preparation for the punishment it will receive whilst hitting a hard cricket ball. After compression, the wood of the blade will not dent when a ball is hit. The neck of the blade is turned in preparation for the splicing of blade to handle. The splice is cut for the fitting of the handle. As this cut must be carefully made, the bat blade is held in a pattern or jig for accuracy. The handle is made from lengths of rattan cane. Each length is planed on opposite sides. Four of these lengths are glued together to make a section of handle or slat. The handle is assembled from four such slats. The two innermost sections are slit and a length of rubber is inserted. Between two sections with rubber insets a spacer and a length of rubber are sandwiched. A fourth slat completes the assembly. The hole is glued together to form a springy handle with rubber insert shock absorbers. This rough square assembly is turned into a round handle.
the splice end is cut. The handle is carefully and very accurately fitted to the blade. When a perfect fit has been obtained, the handle is fixed into the splice with a special glue. After 24 hours for drying, the final shaping process begins. The draw knife, plane and spokeshave are used to put the finishing touches to the bat shape. The final sandpapering and polishing complete the blade. A binding of thread strengthens the handle and gives a good gripping surface. Every good bat carries a brand burnt into the blade which denotes its quality. A rubber sleeve covers the handle and the bat is ready for the first ball of the first innings.